catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of June 20th. Donald Trump came to San Antonio for a fundraiser June 17th, and a crowd of about 400 protesters took to the streets to comment on the candidate. The event was full of passion, but also peaceful. Meanwhile, inside the fundraiser at the Oak Hills Country Club, one of the hosts, IBC Bank CEO Dennis Nixon, co-chair of the Trump Victory Fund, had some blunt words for Trump on immigration and trade when he introduced the presidential candidate. Nixon, a prominent Republican who has long opposed a border wall, reminded Trump that the federal government spends more on border security than all of the federal law enforcement combined. According to the Texas Tribune's account of the event, Trump seemed like he was listening. He worked on that, Trump said approvingly of Nixon's speech as he took the stage. We recently had a conversation with Carol Mendoza Fisher about the impact on small businesses like her father's taxicab company when unregulated competitors Uber and Lyft move in. Her father was one of the first minority small businesses to be granted a San Antonio cab license in 1979, but he and his 16 drivers are struggling now. That's in large part because they must follow the city's rules that Uber and Lyft are free to ignore. For instance, to ensure that drivers can make a living, city regulations set a minimum fare cabs must charge. Those same regulations protect cab customers by capping cab fares to prevent price gouging. These cheap fares, offered by Uber and Lyft, come at a human cost, she said. Yes, and the city has deregulated for Uber, and so all of these protections that were here for the, for the consumer and for the drivers, mm -hmm. um, they're gone. They're gone, and they've been destroyed, even though the cabs still have to adhere to this old system. As they reviewed Uber and Lyft's track record to date, San Antonio City Council members saw maps of where the companies have the most pickups and drop-offs. The best served zip code is 78249, the University of Texas at San Antonio campus, with more than 28,000 students. The maps show some areas on the west side, South Side and East Side got no service at all from the ride-hailing apps. Take another look and see how the heaviest Uber and Lyft traffic correlates with a map of household income in San Antonio. Again, city regulations require cabs to show they cover all parts of the city regardless of income. No such requirement exists for Uber and Lyft. Go to Nowcast SA for more on these stories, and as always, thanks for watching The Edge.